Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to explain my simple 4-bit computer I made in circuitverse.org. So, let me go to full screen and this is what the computer looks like. It actually has its ROM to actually have store the code. You can actually program the ROM. There are actually three integrated circuits, the control unit, the ALU, and 7 second recorder. Let's first start with the ALU itself. So as you can see, it actually has a 4-bit input, a 4, actually 4-bit, two 4-bit inputs, A and B, and there's also a subtract bit. And there's actually an over 4-bit and a 4-bit output. There's actually, so wait, this is the add signal, like if the subtract signal bit is off. Like, if I want to try 1 plus 1, then the answer will be 2. How about, how about 3 plus 5? Then it will be 8, like that. And once I turn on the subtract signal, then the B's input will be inverted because of the 4-bit NOT gate and and the multiplexer will be in the 1 position. And the carry bit will also turn on just to make it just to make it work better and much nicer. So like if I want to try 1 minus 1, then it will be 0. But also this last bit in the 4-bit is actually negative 8. So like if I want to try a negative number, like for example, 0 minus 1, then all these bits will turn on. So for example, like, like 5 plus negative 8, no, 7 plus negative 8 equals negative 1. So that's how it works. All these bits, so when all these bits will turn on, then it will be negative 1. How about this one? Then it will be actually 6 plus negative 8, it will be negative 2. And I will also try 3 minus 1. Then it will be 2. So that's for the ALU itself. Let's check out the second 7 second decoder. But as you can see, it uses the ROM just to make it much simpler. You can actually, which I can actually turn on the input signal like this. So I, there's, there's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is the biggest number in the 4-bit computers. And then the and then the negative eight is the most minimum number ever. Like for example, we could actually try this. This is negative seven. So like one plus negative eight is negative seven itself. You can see this here. And this negative bit will turn on, and this bit will also have. And then there's also the instruction decoder. Of course, it also uses the ROM itself as well. Like for example, if I want to try like one, then it will show the road A instruction. If I want to try two, then it will be the add instruction. Then if I want to try three, subtract instruction. But I if I want to try fourteen, then it will be output instruction, and fifteen will be the end instruction. That's just to stop the code. And finally, this is the control unit. It might be a little bit complicated, but I will tell you how to explain. So there's actually an uh, instruction decoder already, which is like this, which all, which the date eight bit data will be split into two values, the <coughs> instruction and the data. Like for example, this part will be the instructions and this part will be the data itself. Right. Like for example, let's try the road A instruction. First of all. Like there's also a constant value that can set these four bit numbers to row using these multiplexers in the one which I accidentally wired this wrong so I have to use a dot gate for this instead of just rewiring it. So like if the road A signal is on the not gate will turn off and then this zero bit will be in this position. And then if I want to try a number like one then it will say this number in the A ALU part and also shows a register save as well this bit will turn on if i don't use that instruction then these bits will turn off because now the multiplexers are in the one position so nothing will happen because it's now in the constant value position but how about the add instruction then that number will be going here because this will be this is in the zero position and the data will go here and then it will go to b a l u and this B register save will also turn on, just like the A register save. But subtract signal might be kind of the same, just like the add instruction. But the subtract signal will actually turn on the subtract bit, which the A, which is going to turn on this subtract signal in the ALU, just to make it 
just the subtractor signal. Then we can actually switch it to uh, we can switch to this bit, the output extraction, which actually only turns on the ALU without register save, which that's all we can do, and the hold extraction and instruction will turn on this bit just like the output but this time it will end the program let's see the entire computer itself and i'm going to explain before i run the program so this is the control unit itself so this bit this zero zero means no nope means no operation that means it just does does nothing does nothing at all it's just blank and then this instruction will be just LDA that means road A it will load 15 in the A register and then so then it will turn this 5 5 it will so 5 and then this 5 will go to that A register and then if the clock signal is low it takes the not gate and if the register C is turned on then it will turn on the clock signal on the clock input of the D D3 on that register and then it will be saved to the A input of the ALU. The B register in 20 in 2 1 2 means add in that instruction. That means that that means that it will vote 1 into that B register because of that second number. So that the B ALU this number will go to here so that just like the A register save if that if the clock signal is low and if the B register save is in the end gate, like if it is high, then the clock signal will turn on in that register and will be saved in the B instruction. And this output instruction, just like the B and A, if the if the clock signal is low and the ALU out register save is turned on, then it will save that output number into the from the ALU. To the seven second recorder and it actually shows the display itself and also there's also a subtract signal it votes the a into here saves that into that register when the clock signal is low and if the register saves one then it saves that to eight which is four and then there's a, a tree there's also like three five which means the subtract signal which three five means which three means subtract and it will actually show 4 minus 5, 4 minus 5, which actually is now just like the last one. But just like the last one, which is the add instruction, which we already did earlier, but this time the subtracts, but this time if the clock signal is low and if the subtract bit is turned on, then it will t save that number to the subtract signal. And just and also does that B reg save and B A L U part, just like the add instruction. And it will also output that, just like the other one, like that. And there's also this last instruction, the FF means the end instruction. So like if this bit is turned on and the NOT gate is low, then this bit will turn off and the end gate will not, like, and then the end, and then the older bits are not all on. Give me a second. I mean, if the end, if the end instruction is turned on, then this bit will turn off and then and then so like i have to i mean if the end instruction is turned on and the not gate is low then the end gate will turn off and then the clock signal will just stop and then it will stop the clock right so this end gate actually has three inputs like if i turn on this reset signal then the not gate will turn off and actually then the end gate will turn off as well so like if the reset so if all three bits are on then the end gate will actually turn on as well like the clock signal if the clock signal is on then and if the end signal is actually turned off and if the reset signal is also turned off then the clock signal will go here and do all this stuff and there's also a counter as well which can actually count stuff and then move it to the a register and all the registers also have the reset pin, which is going to be controlled by a reset pin as well. Let's run the program and see how it works. So it actually says 5 plus 1. I actually changed it before, but, but and there's also 4 minus 5. So let's try 5 plus 1. We can actually turn off the reset pin. 
5 plus 1 equals 6. And 4 minus 5 equals negative 1. So as you can see, it actually works. And I can actually also change the numbers as well. We can actually say negative 8 plus 1. Negative 8 plus 1. Let's check the answer. Negative 8 plus 1. Equals negative 7, actually. So the answer is right. Negative 8 plus 1 equals negative 7. And I can also turn and switch the subtract signals as well. Like for example, we can actually set it to like 2, 4 minus 2. You can actually select the bit and then you can program with the hexadecimal numbers. So let's try 4 minus 2. First it shows 8, negative 8 plus 1. And it shows 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So... That's it for this 4-bit computer video. Bye!